Hello crafters, this is Paula. I'm coming to you today to look at the beautiful new stamp of the month for November. This is um, stamp of the month is called Created to Shine and I'm pairing it with our Distress Oxides and um, the beautiful new Candid Moments paper pack and our Mixin pack in the new catalogue as well as you will see throughout this video. So the first thing that I am doing is bringing in a beautiful template. Now this one's actually a retired star, um, Sunburst template but we do have a similar look in one of our new 12 by 12 template stencils in the core catalogue. Um, I've bought in a Picture My Life card from the Candid Moments range. It's got beautiful mocha background, that lovely dark chocolate colour, which works really lovely with the soft yellows that we are, and oranges that we're bringing into this layout. Now, in the stamp of the month, we've got three beautiful sentiments. I've chosen Created to Shine today. I absolutely love that statement, and it's going to work very nicely with one of my children's awards um, photos. So I bought that um, through. I bring, bring in a little bit of Distress Oxide behind it to keep the lovely colours coming through all my different elements. And as you can see, with this gorgeous stamp of the month, you have have the beautiful little light bulbs but you also have a little centerpiece so I have used my distress oxide to bring in a little bit of um, orange into the center of this cute little light and now I'm going to um, stamp a background version of the exact same light so those little rays are shining off and then I am going to once I've added the little journaling line for the string for the, the cord I'm going to foam tape this pre-cut little element on top just to give that added feeling of dimension. Now as I'm using the more goldy hues I have brought in my gold embellishing thread. This is a lovely fine thread that I use so often. There's a silver version and a gold version and it just adds a nice touch of texture to your page as well as something very delicate in the background. So I, use, I just wrap it around my fingers and I grab one of my um, larger glue dots to secure the middle and then once I have um, squished the, the pieces together and twisted it, it looks like a lovely little bow. Now, as you can see, I've pulled out a new tool. This is our pickup tool, and I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so all I had to do when I purchased it was to get a pencil sharpener, and as you saw, I sharpened it to a nice fine tip, and now I can pick up those sequins so easy. Now, it took me a few minutes to get used to playing around with the glue dots and the pickup tool, but once I got the hang of it, I couldn't believe how quickly and easily I could grab those sequins from its container. With my fat fingers, I feel like I'm always fiddling around trying to find the right one, whereas this tool just allowed me to bring get out exactly the one I wanted. No stress, it just seemed to attach to the tool and come over really nicely. So now I'm going to use the stamp of the month in a um, more defined way, and I'm going to do a whole strip of light bulbs along the top. In our artwork, suggested artwork in the catalogue, it gives a little bit of an impression of using all the lights as a strip like this so that's where I got that idea from. So now I'm going to use first and second generation to fill in some of those light bulbs. Um, in fact at times I use third generation as well so that just means I keep stamping without re-inking and it gives a sort of a nice defined um, look of different shades of the same colour. So you can stamp with our Distress Oxides, they're not just for blending and background creating. Obviously they don't make such a defined, precise um, stamp image, but in this case that's exactly what I wanted as a slightly more fuzzy light bulb look. So I carried on with that same colour rather than bringing in our standard ink pads for the stamping. Now I am grabbing a few of our very small glue dots um, and just placing them randomly in amongst all the light bulbs and soon you'll see that I'm going to actually attach different sized sequins to those um, glue dots. But first I'm placing my Picture My Life card embellishment up the top. Now this cool idea came from another maker that I saw this morning, I just had to give it a go, um, and that is to both create this lovely embellishment but also to put this on an angle at the top of your page and really highlight that very, very sweet um, clip at the top of the Picture My Life card. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, this is just a neat little look and that covers that border just slightly but still allows you to have that impression of lights going all the way along the top of your page. So here's, as you can see here I am with that pickup tool again having a really easy time of finding exactly the sequence I want and popping it on. So that just adds a nice little bit of a sparkle along the top which again goes with that impression of light. 
So when I, once I've finished all that little embellishing, and that's really the hardest part of this whole layout, I'm now going to bring in the mix-in paper. So the mix-in paper pack is um, has got shades of colours that go with the different paper sets that are in that seasonal catalogue. There's typically about three sheets that go with each paper pack. So with the Candid Moments, there's this lovely yellow um, background mix-in paper pads and I really liked the deeper shade that I turned it over to but I kind of liked um, bringing back a bit of lightness to the page by keeping the lighter arrow look. So instead of using the darker one I went and distressed the outsides with my blending tool and that same spiced marmalade distress oxide just to give a little bit of a light border around the corners and then I have adhered it onto that backing mix-in sheet. Now the mix-in sheet had this very delightful and quite apt um, uh, zip strip, which looks a little bit like light shining as well. Um, and then just to finish off, I'm grabbing the mocha cardstock and putting in a placeholder photo for now. I have actually, I didn't mention at the start, but I have actually been using the French vanilla as my base for this one, for that softer white. Um, it just seems to be a bit more in keeping. Now just when I got to this point I decided I needed a little bit more of that lovely thread on my page so I created a couple more of those cheap bows I call them, the um, wrapping it around my finger with a glue dot style of bow and I've popped it on two more of the light bulbs. It's always nice to work in a set of three when you're embellishing on your page and I just felt that it was nice to tie in that thread a little bit more along the page. So I've done that for two random light bulbs and then I decided that that shadow look that I created on my Picture My Life card was rather cool. So I grabbed some more scrap paper, French vanilla paper, stamped a couple more of those lovely light bulbs. Um, and I'm going to fussy cut those out to add onto those two that have now got the extra little bow thread on them. Fussy cutting is much easier if you've got a nice precise pair of scissors. Our non-stick scissors are fabulous and I really enjoy cutting with those. Um, and you can get a really nice defined trim at the end. So I've grabbed those last two pieces, popping them on um, using a bit of my thin 3D foam tape to make them stand out slightly. I did lose my second one for a bit and it was actually placed right where it was meant to be, of course. Does that ever happen to you? But I found it and we've got the lovely last element put on here. I hope you enjoyed seeing this layout come to life. It is a beautiful stamp of the month this month and I hope you take advantage of it. Happy crafting ladies!